we're here on season four, um, but the interesting thing is that, of course, you guys come into this, there's a lot of build-up uh, to a new season. Um, what's it like as an actor coming off third season, coming into the fourth? What's the process um, like? Well, uh, it's, uh, every year it's always a, a, new, a new bunch of surprises that the writers have lined up for us. Um, uh, season three was um, quite a you know hectic hectic time for all of the all of the cast or all the characters I should say and uh, and for you know for all of us uh, you know I've hailed discovering me in a trunk of a car <laughs> uh, uh, discovering trick in the, tr in the trunk of a car sorry when I'm in my wardrobe I get confused of who I am <laughs> um, and I got the tattoo on right. um, yeah so uh, you know I didn't even know what to expect coming into this season um, from what I'd been told of what was coming at the end of last season to this season it's you know th things change in the writers minds and they, they, they develop ideas and longer in the arcs uh, kind of for each character develop over the time off and uh, yeah so it's it's a uh, it's exciting it's an exciting time has your concept of trick changed especially in terms of the last season because I mean season three I mean it was almost dire for trick I mean there was a yeah. lot a lot there season three was quite a surprise for me as the actor playing trick um, I don't think trick conceptually or anything has changed he's right. uh, he's I mean he's been around for 2,000 years right and he knows everything it's just um, the surprise to me is the just the, the new developments and the and the, the new area the areas in which that that the writers are choosing to to, to explore trick and uh, and I'm really excited about season four coming up and season three was a, a well it was a blast I mean every every season's been a, a blast I mean as as an actor working it's like it's uh, I feel blessed to have to have this show and to have this character to play right. and uh, it's just yeah, it's just fantastic. Do uh, do the relationships uh, feel different when you're playing them each season? Because certainly they change as the show progresses. But uh, you know, an actor playing those roles, how does it feel that way? Yeah, no. Um, well, you you get to know each other even more, and there's more support as actors to each other. Um, and in terms of like how the characters work together. You get a little more water under the bridge, as it were, um, <laughs> with each character, and and so um, it's it's interesting, and it's it's always a challenge when Trick has to be a kind of disappointed or upset about somebody's actions that, right. that they've done. That it, you know, because everything that we do in the show seems to cause another riff, <laughs> and uh, and so you know that the and there's something else that Trick has to kind of figure out and save or help or you know trick is like glue really in, in a lot of ways there's a yeah, lot of yeah it's a good way to kind of put it yeah he uh he brings a lot of them together i mean in the the third season we were talking about the fact that it was a lot of coming apart mm -hmm. uh i'm i'm sure you can't say much but is there more glue from trick in the third in the fourth season or is it uh other things happening. Well, I think I think with like you're saying the glue thing, the trick was kind of the glue in season three, and I think he was really trying to keep it all together and keep it keep it together. And I think I think for season four, you're going to see a bit more of of um, the reasons why he's the glue. Right. And you might see that glue losing a little bit of his tenacity. Right. Interesting. The third season also, I mean. There was a lot going on between each kind of individual storyline, almost. Um, what? I guess my question is, what it was like on set when you guys were going through all that stuff. Uh, did you? Did it feel different from previous seasons, where it maybe was a little tighter, in terms of each groups were more tightly woven? Um. Yeah. Yeah. And also, I mean, well, Trick had like this little arc in season three, with. Um, Deb O'Dell, who right. played Stella, and uh, which was a really lovely little arc to get to play. Um, she's a wonderful actor and, and, and a really lovely person. And so, uh, you know, we got to have this little romance, and, and uh, it was, 
it, so that was very different from the other two seasons for Trick and for Rick to play, and uh, and and quite nice. But and and you know with with um, Hale becoming the Ash and things like that, there was there was a lot more kind of like I guess kind of a dad dad character coming yes. out of Trick for for the Ash as well. Um, yeah, Trick Trick has such a very specific. Uh, role in the show and the Fey knowledge and the Fey words are are very much very important and again specific and so it's hard to kind of um, leave that right. um, and and to to improvise off of those things like you know I'm often bringing in the plot or the or the or the the next character development or the next character element and and if that if you know that has to be a very specific thing because there's you know, it's all been set up. It's all been organized and written for. So, um, in terms of, you know, improvising, there might be the odd, odd word change just because it might fit coming out of my mouth better. But um, yeah, I, I don't think that, I don't think that it's a good idea for Rick to try to, to try to take <laughs> Trick in any kind of direction that isn't already organized and set out. Right. Um, but yeah, I, like I mean, I, I, I was trained to act with improvisation comedy wise and I mean if, if we were doing a, 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 a comedy um, then I would be more than happy to, to improvise and riff around on, on things like that and I'm sure I, I could probably by this season um, riff on, on Fey things and sound fairly knowledgeable <laughs> um, but, but I think that uh, I think but it's very important that there are certain there are certain elements that Trick's character, as a as a function of the show, right. Trick has to get these certain things out, and they have to be specific because they they get called back on by other characters. They get they get you know they they're very important to the to the whole the whole mythology of right. the show. And I mean, in that role, uh, do you feel a certain responsibility then uh, throughout the series? It, it seems like you have that kind of responsibility to be the uh, the encyclopedia, of course. To yeah, the, the trickopedia. Yeah. <laughs> no, absolutely, uh, absolutely. I, I feel, I feel that's that's it's it's very important toward uh, for my role, and as as the actor, I think it's really important that I that I do stick to those those things, and right. you know, like I I I I make sure I'm pronouncing the way that they want those words pronounced, because like you know. A lot of our mythology, a lot of the characters, as I've said before, are based in actual, well, based in actual mythology, <laughs> and so, but you can actually type in those names into Wikipedia and, and find those things, yeah. or from mytholo mythological pages and stuff, and so I like the idea of it being, you know, kind of true to all of that. I don't, I don't want it to be outside of, and, and like if it's, uh, very rarely do we have something that is, that is completely made up. Right. Out of somebody's imagination, like a, one of the characters that Bo might be battling, or that is that is infecting our world, or doing whatever to us, um, you know that they're, it's well researched by the by the writers, and I, I believe in giving respect to the other artists and and following what they've they've given me. Right. Um, so, but I mean, like I mean, yes, just yesterday on Twitter, somebody commented about. Um, you know, wouldn't it be great to have a lost girl who's afraid, who, uh, whose line is it anyway? <laughs> and, uh, and you know, I'd be into that. It would be difficult, I think, to, to improvise, again, within the Fey world. Right. But um, I, would, I would love to uh, do a whose line it is anyway with the cast, you know, as ourselves. I think that would be uh, hilarious. Maybe mid-season or season so, five, that can be the next thing. <laughs> yeah, I think it would have to be something outside of the actual show of Lost Girl. It would be more about, like, just, like... A little showcase of the actors doing something. Toronto Fringe you know. next year, maybe. Oh, yeah. I don't know about that. No. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe we can do a special or something. That would be cool. Well, thank you very much. No, you're welcome.